a new system of anti radiation missile indigenously being developed by india for the first time previous to it was brahmos which was a joint effort in collaboration of russia now rutram comes from a sanskrit word where you have the acronyms arm which is anti radiation missile that is included and this word in sanskrit means removal of sorrow so that is the basic idea behind the launch of rudram and the word rudram being selected by drdo now what is actually a anti radiation missile it helps you to detect neutralize any kind of radar communication that is there that is part of the air defense system so it just basically has a inertial navigation system which works on a computerized mechanism along with gps which works on a satellite system so it's a kind of amalgamation of the communication mechanism of the uh, the self position of an object along with the gps which is based on the satellite position and it also has a passive uh, homing head which is a system to identify detect uh, and basically uh engage targets by the radio frequencies and this is something that is done in a programmed manner so rutram has been one of the very very important developments because this technology can be successful even if the radiation source source gets switched off during the flight or in between and therefore this technology is very very unique now coming on to the highlights of rutram now rutram has been developed by drdo it aims it is a kind of seed that is separation of enemy air defense system with line of the recent tensions going on with uh, china and line of actual control uh, developments in defense have become very very important now uh, rutram was tested from sukhoi uh, su30 because the jets constitute larger fighter fleets in indian air force and <coughs> have a higher carrying capacity next to the rafels that have been incorporated into it can be launched from various different uh, heights or altitudes we could say and it has a capability to destroy the surveillance radar system the tracking system or the communication system now the current uh, indian air force usage of the anti radian radiation missile is kh31 and this is a russian system it's not an indian system at present however rudram is indigenously being developed by drdo so again an important project under make in india now whenever we talk about uh, the systems like this uh, as of now rudram has been integrated with sukhoi su30 however there are future possibilities of integration with mirage jaguar uh, hall tejas and then tejas mark 2 but that has not been done so far it is believed that this could happen in the future systems now rudram was tested from balasore uh, due to the tensions with china as we said rudram is not just one of the defense systems that we are focusing on we would also talk about the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle uh, hstdv so hstdv hypersonic uh, Uh, technology demonstrator vehicle is another development that india has witnessed similarly the shorya strategic missiles are another important landmark developments that have been seen now rutram is a part of new generation anti radiation missile technology uh, the strike range is 100 to 150 kilometers and as we said this is the first indigenous air to ground uh, missile being developed after the brahmos which was in collaboration with russia uh, the single stage this missile weighs nearly 140 kilograms and it is powered by dual pulsed solid ro uh, rocket uh, motor that is there and also you have free uh, pre fragmented warheads with optical uh, proximity fuse that that are being used in rutram so those are some of the key technologies in the next class we would talk about hstdv that is hypersonic 
technology demonstration vehicle in detail again since it is hypersonic it is beyond the speed of sound so becomes very very important and all those all these defense developments are very important for your examination point of view because these have been some of the recent uh, topics and gaining high importance amidst the uh, china tension so those are some of the key highlights on rudram we would be covering many more topics on defense stay tuned have a wonderful day